my team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'm a shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. If you ain't a winner, then don't come round. On my way to another city, it's a touchdown. Under late, yeah, I gotta get it in a rush now. Let them hate, try to knock me down, but we got up now. You said that you bowling, keep it real though. Hey, why I never saw you in the field though? Hey, I make it look easy, it's a field goal. I've been grinding for a minute and I'm still going. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. Find out my team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'm a shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. the 
his friends. You don't make no clap back when you backpack, my bad, but I'm past that with an ass back. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, at Heinz Field. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Second and nine now. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Jump, 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 jump. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Back to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Michael Kendricks with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They start the drive with Lynch. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the shotgun, Wilson, eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it, and he gets it down a yard or two. The 30 before he's out of bounds. Out of bounds at the 32 yard line. A gain of four. It's now a six. Let's go, let's go. Give me that ball, Give me that ball. Who are you cutting? On second down now. It's Lynch. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29 yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. What? Good job right there. Good job right there. Get it right there. Go ahead. 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 Go not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon, intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. It's been a long day for you. 94 is the month. 94 is the month. All day. All day. Every day. Any day. Kill, kill, kill. They go play action here on first down. They'll buy some time right. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. First and ten at the 41 yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Unable to stop K.J. right there as he slips by for the sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now a deep ball here. Hold in just past the 50. Give them 32 on the play. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Now a first down carry by Bell. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second and six. Scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 24-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Bell. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. This will be caught by Brown. today's football where receivers break tackles make people miss <laughs> get up field for the extra yardage when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot that's a big time play by the defense Losing yardage back at the 12. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Here we go on second and 12. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker Bobby Wagner. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. The 30. And what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. After the interception, here's Wilson. He finds Lynch. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. Give him seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. A give to Lynch from the shotgun. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. 
direct, straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. On second down, it's Alexander, and he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Now we give running left. It's Bettis. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Bell. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. We want it. Come to my world. Alert flare. Alert flare. 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 Second and two. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That Ziggy Ansah, the number five pick in 2013, credited with a sack. Third down, he'll drop to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro free safety, Earl Thomas. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on. When he gets to the sidelines, the coach is going to check on, his teammates going to check on it, because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. First down, the run with Lynch. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. From the 45 on second down, Wilson. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Watch Twitch. Watch Twitch. Further, further. Check my game. 
Third and long, it's Wilson. Flush to his right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. He certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Wilson in the offense not coming off the field. They're going for it on four. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson going for Metcalf. This is caught inside the 15. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. We spent a lot of time talking about what's going on on the field. How about off the field with the evaluation? And they spent a lot of time saying, we've got to get a rookie in here who has big playability. And that's exactly what we're seeing here early in his career. Drafted him in the spring. Here he is early in the fall making an impact. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now it's Wilson rolling to his right. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. He was going for the tight end, Nick Vanette. But now it's third and goal. The Steeler defense proving its mettle here. And now this is third and goal. They'll run for it with Lynch. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. So it's an old-school extra point that counts three times. So it's certainly a disappointment they weren't able to get it in the end zone. Yeah, I can just imagine post-game, head coach looking at the box score, 19-yard field goal, grimacing a little bit, but having to realize that at that moment, getting three points was vital. Go ahead and get the points, put them on the board. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint, down 10-zip as they come up first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Hey, zero, zero, zero. Hey, easy, easy. Check, 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 check. On second down now, it's Alexander. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. Fourth down, here's Wilson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. He's got it with the 15. And all the way down to the 9. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well.
We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. A reminder coming up at halftime. We'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes our score 17-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're down. I know, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you did. I think you just called it desperation time. I think you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Here's second and eight. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And eight yards to go. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll look to throw here. Being chased out left. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Well, apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. They'll set up a throw. He's going to air one out. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe when to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll drop the throw. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. to throw now on first down. A screen to Bell. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Looking to throw. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Intended for number 82. Incomplete. Brings up third down and 11. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. On your team. On your team. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. And this is caught. For the moment, it's.
it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow, and he didn't on that play. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've got a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On third down, Alexander. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. 14, 14. Go ahead. Go ahead. So don't say nothing. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. That's complete to Lurgent. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they'll give to Lynch out of the gun. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41 third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now again they'll pound it with lunch and this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more no gain on the play and it's going to bring up a third down on third down, Wilson. And he finds McLaurin. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 45-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. A first carry for the converted wideout, J.D. McKissick. 
three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. <laughs> to throw is Wilson. To throw on third down. Eluding the pressure right. Open man, it's Vanan. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. What? On first down, it's Lynch. And power running here down to the six yard line. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. We got three. We got it. On second down, it's Alexander. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Myers connects on the PAT, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Check the hot read. Second down of inches. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 13. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that and what you have to do to combat it. Try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially the skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. Give him 30 yards there. Charles, you talk so much about quick change plays. There's one right there. You get the turnover, and boom, hit him with a big one. And defenses plan for this all the time. They work on it in practice. But in the middle of the game, when that quick change takes place, oftentimes guys aren't as focused as they need to be. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Second down six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much since. From the gun, it's Wilson. He's got the tight end, Benet. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run. Lynch. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They'll keep pounding here with Lynch. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Wilson on third down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 16. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. They'll run on first down. Alexander. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Alexander. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Second and goal from the six this time. A carry now for McKissick. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. J.D. McKissick, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. He'll drop to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Second and 10. And now here is another interception. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. Ooh, what a juke. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. 
They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. Now it's first and ten, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now Lynch. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Here's Wilson. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And a loose football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Now back to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. They'll set up the throw. Steps away. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time, they'll lose one or two. Here we go on second and 12. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. And it'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. Oh, I think they got it. Yes, the Steelers have it. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Check 26, check 26. Out, 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 out. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ezekiel Ansah getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Mike 5 4, Mike 5 4, Mike 5 4. And here we go. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Slam, slam. 
So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll try a toss here to Bettis. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Looked like it might have been intercepted, but he's out of bounds. And a good thing, too, probably. That would have cost him yardage. And now they'll get the ball back on the turnover on downs. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back to throw. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. K.J. Wright able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. It's Ward. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. He's crashing. He's checking crash. Watch the shift. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cassius Marsh, and the Seahawks are going to take over the football. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that one. <laughs> They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. Let's go, let's go double count right here. Double count. On second down, Lynch. Lynch fighting, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. Well, that's one of those mistakes. That's a fumble that when they get to the sidelines, I know you're mad, Coach, but look, we still got this locked down, but that's not necessarily true, is it? Well, their hopes are slim, but you just hate to give them any hope. You could have sealed it right there. Yeah, could have finished them off and, and taken away all hope, as we like to say. Hey, check 24, check 24. 41. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the ball. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Oh, yeah. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw here. He gets it to Brown, complete. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. So the victory here for Seattle, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot. Of, but now it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Seahawks, it was a great all-around performance.